Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and happy 2018. I hope you all had a really good festivities and a really good new year. And I thought to start off 2018 I would do a testing makeup video if you haven't guessed that already from the title. But today I will be testing out New Look makeup. I have had this sitting around in my drawers, in my makeup drawers for months literally no joke for about six months i've had this little package of new look makeup waiting around in my drawers for six seven months because i bought it with the intent to do this video and just never got around to doing it there was so many launches coming out in the back end of 2017 that i just wanted to try more makeup and not this makeup so if you want to see if new look makeup is any good then please keep watching. So I have just zoomed you on in. I have moisturised my skin and put some lip balm on. But I'm just going to quickly stick a primer on. Because I didn't come across a primer when I first bought this. And since then I haven't seen a primer. If I have, I've skipped past it. But I'm just going to go in with my Holy Grails Bare Minerals um, Blemish Remedy. I've been calling it the wrong thing for so long. I thought it was called Blemish Ready and I've been saying it wrong for like nearly two years. It's quite embarrassing actually. But I'm just going to stick this to my tears on like I always do. So it's like Christmas has come late or Christmas has come very very early in 2018. But I have bought six items from New Luck and I'm going to just try them out in order of how I would normally do my makeup so as i've already primed it's time to go in with foundation and i have chosen the flawless liquid foundation and this has an spf of 15 and i have picked up the shade porcelain the box is a little bit battered but that's okay and it comes in a very similar tube to the bare minerals primer it's very chic it's very modern i don't mind i'm going to apply this half of my face with a brush and the other half with a beauty blender and see how the two differ if they differ at all and it says on the back that this foundation should give you a flawless natural looking finish with a medium coverage and i'm just going to stipple it in it looks about the right shade so let's keep going okay so while i am stippling this on it feels quite thick it doesn't feel lightweight at all. There's definitely coverage there. And I do have to say, I can notice a smell of the SPF while I am applying it. It's quite a strong smell of SPF. So right off the bat, I can already tell that using the Beauty Blender, I am going to be needing more product because I haven't even covered my forehead yet. It is normal for a Beauty Blender to soak up more product and for you to get a higher coverage of foundation with using a brush, that is normal. So I'm not surprised that I'm having to use more product on this side. So between the two sides, I can tell that there isn't a lot of discoloration around my eyes. Here I can still kind of see bluish purple undertones, whereas this side it looks more natural and blended into the skin, where this looks like it's just sitting on top of the skin. Personally, I've always preferred using beauty blenders because it just looks more flawless and natural. It still gives you the foundation, then still gives you that healthy, natural luminosity. So next is concealer, and I do not have a concealer from New Look, so I'm just going to quickly go in with my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is a drugstore concealer. So I'm just going to blend this in with the beauty blender very quickly. So next is under eye setting powder. I do not have that from New Look. So I'm just going to quickly go in with the e.l.f. under eye HD setting powder. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques Point S brush to apply that under the eyes as well. So next is face powder. And for that I have the matte press face powder with the SPF 15 again in the shade porcelain once again so hopefully this is my shade it won't be too orange or too pink because 
I have neutral undertones, so I have both pink and orange undertones, so hopefully this isn't going to look too crazy. I'm just going to use my Bare Minerals face powder. I'm just going to press that all over the skin. Move my hair out of the way. So I don't really want makeup in my hair. And same with the face powder, I can smell the SPF. It's quite a strong scent, actually. But it's only when I come towards my nose that I can actually smell it. And again, just blend down the neck. Hopefully it doesn't oxidise, because I'm not about that life. I like this powder a lot, actually. This powder and um, foundation together as a combination works very, very well. The only downside to both the products is the smell of SPF. I'm liking what I see right now, so moving on. So moving on to contour, I do not have any contour products from New Look, so I will be going in with my Tarte Face Shaping Palette just to contour my face very quickly. So with contour done, I'm now going to go into blush, and for that I have the Baked Face blush so this is the blush on the back of my hand it's more of a highlighter than a blush i would say it's very sheer but it's very very lum luminous Ugh, i can't get my words out to say it's very luminous so let's see how this works so i've just taken a small amount this has a lot of fallout this is very powdery very very powdery it's i am basically covered in this stuff now this isn't a blush I get they want to do illuminated blush, but this is practically highlighter. I'm just gonna try and tone that down a little bit with whatever is left on my face brush, just to tone that down a little bit because I am now going to go in with a highlighting palette. This is a strobe highlighter kit and this has three different shades. So let's see how this works. So let's see how this works because if this, is more matte and dull than this then i'm kind of confused because this is meant to be a blush and this is meant to be a highlighter so if it's the other way around hmm these are the shades that you get you get more of a nude tone a shimmery pink tone and more of a bronzy tone wow a lot is picked up on the brush so hopefully this will work so because I've already got this illuminating situation going on right now, I'm just going to apply this to the top of my brow. I'm just going to take that highlighter on the tops of my cheeks as well. But this highlighter is a little bit more toned down in comparison to the blush. All I'm seeing is this blush in comparison to the pink shade. So I'm a little bit confused as to why the blush is more illuminating and blinding then the pink shade. I'm a little bit confused. So I've just swatched the other two highlighters and the blush shade. So now you can see the blush and the three highlighters. So now you can be as confused as I am. Blush shade is very illuminated. It's very glowy. And then the other three highlighters that are meant to be highlighters are quite dull. So I'm moving away from face makeup and moving on to eye makeup. I have bought this little quad palette. And this is also has no shade name. Okay, but there was, I think if I remember rightly when I bought this, there was three different colorways and I have the more lightest neutral shade. And this is the colorway. It is a little bit battered at the looks of it because I have swatched them before this video. So let's see what happens, I guess. So I'm just going to tap into the shade here. It's more of a light pink nude shade. Very powdery. Tap the excess off. I'm just going to stick this in to the crease. This is a soft neutral colour and there is not a lot of pigment to it not going to lie i'm now going to go into this more nude beige color and i'm just going to stick that in the crease and outer v just to intense and deepen that crease color she says again i do need to go back into the palette a few times to get a payoff I'm also going to take that colour a little bit underneath the eye as well. So next I'm going to go in with this gold shade and I'm going to apply it to my inner corner. Okay, so this gold shade has a very metallic 
glowy finish and I'm living for it. I'm kind of shook because the other two matte shades I've had to work quite a lot and now this doesn't take a lot of work in. I haven't used Fix Plus or anything, this is straight from the pan. So I'm kind of shook how pigmented this is. And using this matte white shade, I'm just going to highlight the inner corner and brow bone. I'm just going to stick that matte white just at the highest point of my arch. This white seems very pigmented as well, I do have to say. So next is eyeliner and lashes. I do not have any lashes or eyeliner from New Look, so I'm just going to do my liner and lashes off camera and my mascara off camera because I don't have a mascara either. So I'll be right back in two seconds. So liner and lashes are on. Like I said, these are not from New Look. They are the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, my Jasmine Lash from Eye of Your, and my Elf Expert Liquid Liner. So now to sum this whole makeup look off is lipstick. So I am trying the Super Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gingerbread and I really like the component. It's very chic. Anything with rose gold is obviously my calling in life. So yeah, let's give it a good old shake and see how good or bad it is. Wow, these are very, very creamy. Just a little bit sticky, but it's nothing that I can't deal with or live with or anything like that so I'm not too mad with that so let's sum all this makeup off <laughs> okay so to round off does new look makeup work it has the thumbs up from me four of the six products that I have bought with my own money I would actually use again I do actually like the formulas I like the consistency I'm not mad really not mad with those products but there is two products that I do feel was a bit of a flop could be improved okay so the first one is going to be the strobe kit the beautiful shades in the pan don't get me wrong these three are beautiful shades in the pan but there's just not really a lot of pigment to them there's not really a lot of glowiness to them for a highlighter I'm just not feeling it. And the last thing that was a flop was the eyeshadow palette. Only two of the four eyeshadows I actually liked, which was the gold and the white matte shade. They were the only two shades that really did anything. The other two you had to really, really spend time and work on to get a pigment. Other than that, I just... The formula, again, is very powdery. It could be improved. There's more fallout down the front of me than actually on my face there was a lot of fallout on my face after i wiped it away but majority of the fallout from just tapping into the pads is literally just down my clothes and that's not why i bought makeup so unfortunately these two are flops could be better not yeah they're just going to the bin basically after this i'm not yeah sorry but the four things that i absolutely loved was the matte powder it hasn't oxidized it stayed true to its color it doesn't give my skin a lot of coverage but i'm not really a full coverage color girl i like my natural to medium coverage so i really really do like this formula it's matte it's just a very nice coverage powdered situation <laughs> um the next thing i like was the blush it's meant to be a blush but lord knows i'm gonna keep this and use this as a highlight because it's popping this blush is so illuminating and so blinding and it's you could probably use this as an all over body highlighter it's so so nice next is the foundation i'm definitely going to be using this again off camera and see how it feels after a few hours of wearing it but now that everything is set it still feels lightweight it doesn't feel thick anymore even though when i was applying it with a brush it did feel very thick but now it doesn't feel thick or cakey it looks pretty it has a natural glowy luminosity to it and it's major in coverage so it's buildable so i'm happy with that i've just realized i've had lipstick on my teeth for that entire segment of the video but Moving on to the lipstick. 
I really like this lipstick, even though it looks like it's cracking and drying into the cracks on my lips. I'm not too mad. So if you like this video, then please click the thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. I upload every Tuesday. I also upload every Sunday now with a weekly vlog. Granted, it's probably not as entertaining as these videos, but it's a vlog all the same. And I shall see you in my next video slash vlog. Bye, guys.